Hi, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and today's card share showcases the new Monster Jam stamp set and coordinating dies to create this love-themed card. I've also incorporated the Madison Avenue frame and tag dies as well. To start, I've stamped the little monster with the heart beating out of his chest on some smooth white cardstock using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. This is a great ink to use with Copic markers as it will not bleed. Then I'm gonna color in my little monster with some shades of red. Now the majority of my monster I am coloring with a really light color. It's just kind of my base color. This is the R22. Then I'm gonna be blending in all of these other three colors you can see to the right of the screen. I'm gonna go in with a little R24 now. This is generally my favorite red color. I use it a lot. If you follow me, you've probably noticed that the remaining three colors are the three reds that I use the majority of the time. I wanted the base color for this monster to be slightly lighter in this instance, just for um, a little bit of highlight, I guess, in certain areas. A lot of that base color will get covered up with my darker colors. I'm also using R29 and R39. The R39 is gonna be my darkest color used very sparingly. I'm gonna keep working as I kind of pull in each additional color to really blend everything out well. And I want the darker areas on my monster to be where the heart's located, underneath the arm, and kind of along the right side of my little monster. The heart itself is gonna be the darkest part with the majority of the R39 and R29. That's because I really wanna highlight that. I love that little heartbeat popping out of his chest. This is probably the monster image that spoke to me the most right off the bat because of the little boom boom greeting in this stamp set. I just thought it was super cute and it just really resonated with me for whatever reason. Once I have the body colored in, I'm gonna use some warm gray markers for his little horns. I'm using a combination of warm gray 0, 0, 1, and 5. If any of that red would happen to bleed into the teeth area, I like to take a white gel pen and go over those. I don't think they did on this particular card. My other Monster Jam card I'll be sharing a little bit later. Um, it did have that happen and I'm gonna use a white gel pen, but that's just a really easy fix. I went over the heart with the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Pen, and then I'm adding a layer of glossy accents as well. I'm gonna set that aside to completely dry, but that's really gonna make that heart pop. Out of watercolor cardstock, I am going to die cut both of the tags from the Madison Avenue die collection from Mama Elephant. That is because I'm gonna layer them. One of the tags has a great little circle frame with that stitched design around it, and one of them is solid. That's gonna just be able to frame up my little monster perfectly. He fits right inside of that circle, which I absolutely love. I think that's so fun and a great way to really showcase a one of any one of those monsters. Then I'm going to apply some Distress Inks to both of the tags. I'm starting with some Spun Sugar Distress Ink, and then I'll finish with Festive Berries Distress Ink. Again, I chose colors to kind of go with that love theme. This definitely could be something that would be used for Valentine's Day, but since that has already passed, you could either save it for next year, or this could work anytime you just want to say I love you to someone. So I think it's just a really fun way to just send a little something special to somebody who maybe is needing it. I'm gonna blend those two colors together where they meet so it's kind of a seamless transition. Then I'm gonna sprinkle both of these with water from a distress sprayer. Let the drops sit there for a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds or so, and then blot them dry with a paper towel. And there's some great distressing left behind. I can set those aside to dry. You can see the monster fits inside the little circle there, frames him up nice. On that top tag, 
I'm going to stamp the little teeny tiny boom boom. And then the main greeting will be stamped below here in just a second. Now I've die cut a rectangle from another sheet of watercolor cardstock. And on that inside piece, I am going to start stamping some stripes using the basic borders stamp set and that wide stripe to create my own pattern paper background. I'm using three shades of Distress ink. I purposely picked these because I wanted the ink to coordinate with the tags that I've already done. So I'm using Spun Sugar, Festive Berries, and pulling in a little candied apple for that darker, deeper red color. And I'm just going to simply alternate these, slightly overlapping them so there's no white space in between the stripes, all the way down this panel. You might need to clean your stamp when you're going back to stamp with the sponge sugar simply so there isn't any ink transferring from a darker color to that lighter color and you definitely see the pink and it doesn't end up being a, uh, a little bit more red or something like that. But border stamps are fantastic for creating your own pattern paper designs. You could definitely even go back the other direction if you wanted to create a plaid instead of a stripe. Diagonals, definitely easier than just straight across or straight up and down. Um, it's a little more forgiving. I did sprinkle this panel with water again for a little bit of that distress look. It's going to be pretty muted. The Distress Ink already has that kind of a Distress look, but it just kind of complements the whole design of the card. Again, blot it dry with a paper towel and stamp my remaining greeting below the layered tags. I'm going to go ahead and add ink to my Die Cut Madison Avenue frame as well. I like the look of the seamless transition from the frame to the striped panel to the Distress Inked tags. The frame is going to be very similar to the tags. It's going to have sponge sugar and festive berries only. Um, it's going to go very light, the sponge sugar, and move on to the darker fest festive berries near the bottom of the, of the frame. Once the ink is completely applied to this, I'm again going to spritz this with a little bit of water for that distressing so it definitely coordinates well with the rest of the design and then I can blot that dry after the water sits for about 25-30 seconds or so is about all that I let it sit. Kind of clean up while I'm waiting for it to for the water to work and wick away some of that ink. I'm ready to put the whole design together now. I die cut another frame from a piece of fun foam. That's going to make my frame dimensional around um, the edge of the card. And I just like that little bit of dimension. I'm going to go ahead and attach my or tags rather first, slightly offset just so you get that little bit of fun look there. And then attach my monster with some glue dots. And I'm going to thread through a little ribbon through the top of these. This is just a little white silk ribbon. Tie that in a little bow to hold, to kind of quote unquote, hold my two tags together. Once I get the bow the way I want it to look, I can go ahead and snip both of those ends a little bit shorter. And I use a specific pair of scissors for any ribbon cutting because paper dulls your scissors so much more than ribbon or fabric. I'm going to go ahead and put a little foam adhesive on the back of my tags. And that's going to raise up these tags on the panel, which I think helps definitely uh, makes the tags more of a focal point and they don't blend into that stripey background quite so much. Peel off the backing paper and place those right above my stamped greeting. Kind of have to fix my bow again because it moved around. May have to fix it a little bit more 
I accidentally messed mine up a little bit. Then I'm taking that fun foam like I was talking about earlier to make my Madison frame dimensional and I'm going to place some stick it adhesive on both sides of the fun foam before I die cut it with the Madison Avenue frame. This is going to make it so that it's a sticker on both sides, making it super easy to attach the frame to the fun foam and the fun foam to my card base. So before I do any die cutting, I like to go ahead and attach the, the stick it to the fun foam. I'm piecing together my fun foam here. I didn't have a piece quite big enough, but I had some smaller strips left over from other projects, which works great. So you can see I've just pieced it together. So don't throw away any of those little pieces of the stick it adhesive. You can use them, piece them together, use them for smaller images, anything like that. I'm going to run that Madison Avenue frame through my Big Shot a couple of times. That inside piece I'm going to save. In fact, if you saw my Mama Elephant Organic Blooms card, it'll be linked at the end of this video. I used this inside piece for that card to die cut the word hello. I'm going to remove one side of the Stick It backing paper, place my Distress inked frame right on top of that making sure I line it up perfectly and that's going to give me that dimensional frame. I'm going to get a white top fold card base, pull off the other side of the backing paper and attach my frame to my card base. Trying to get it lined up perfectly and I was having a little bit of difficulty. Then I'm going to put some adhesive in the center and replace that center with my pattern paper and embellished background. And that is, that looks good. The card could definitely be finished here, but I love the addition of some sequins and confetti. So I'm adding some pretty pink posh red heart confetti and sparkling clear sequins. Attaching all of these with a little matte medium and using my quick stick tool to easily position and place all of these little embellishments here and there. Once I have that scattering of sequins and confetti in place, my card is all finished. Thanks for joining me for this Mama Elephant card showcasing the new Monster Jam stamp set and coordinating dies. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Here are a couple more Mama Elephant videos you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.